of South Sudan's many torments, hunger has become the greatest terror of all. It is a horror written in the flesh and bones of this little boy. This boy's too weak to stand here. Yeah? He can't stand up. It has drawn the strength from his limbs and the life from his eyes. His name is Hamis. Two years old, but weaker than a newborn baby. There's nothing to him. Huh? His mother has lost one child to sickness, lost family to war, and now starvation threatens her son. I can a bed mother. The red warning signs are everywhere. At this screening centre out in the countryside, we're told four out of every ten children are severely, acutely malnourished. In language any parent would understand, they risk starving to death. So with every exhausted step, South Sudan moves from the brink of genocide into the arms of famine. For many days and many miles they've trekked across a sun-blown wasteland in search of something to eat and somewhere safe to stay. For three war-weary years these people have been forced to abandon homes and harvests by fighting which has cost tens of thousands of lives. Now they're escaping an even deadlier foam. The famine here is a crisis of humanity which is entirely man-made. Exhausted, famished, almost finished, and all they've gained is the shade of a tree. Everyone is hungry, the old woman tells me, but better here than at home. <laughs> There is food, but nothing like enough. In the district centre of Ganyil, a UN plane has just delivered its once a month aid drop. And in the baking heat, they collect their rations. But thousands have arrived too late. We found this woman picking through the dirt for a few grains spilt from the sacks of cereal. In the long grass all around, there are many like her. This is all she has for the next month. It shames and pains me, she says, but how else can I live? The answer, for many, is to risk the malaria-infested marshes that line the River Nile. We watched William Gall and his family of eight children arrive after a 19-day journey from famine through fighting. All they've eaten on the way are water lilies. This is Dahlia, six years old, perilously thin. Her fight for life is one tiny front line in a much wider struggle. 100,000 people on the verge of starvation. Dahlia is precisely the same age as her country, uncertain fates intertwined. But like so many children, Hamis knows only fear and hunger. First the war, then the famine, now the reckoning. <laughs>